Hi, I'm Grant Montgomery from Jerns Healthcare. I'm going to spend a few minutes with you talking about basic ergonomics and body mechanics. Before we talk about ergonomics, though, there was a study recently done, and it was determined that the average staff member lifts 1.8 tons per shift per day. Now, that may seem like a lot, but that 1.8 tons, if it's done properly, actually has no impact. If it's done improperly, that's when concerns arise. And that's why we want to talk about basic ergonomics today. Now there are five basic ergonomic principles that I'm just going to discuss with you, and those are keeping a neutral spine, keeping a wide stance, having a comfortable grip, staying close to the load, and conducting smooth, easy movements. Now to take those in pieces, we want to have a neutral spine throughout the day. And the reason we want to do that is when we bend and twist, we actually isolate small parts of our spine, and that's how back injuries occur. So when we work with any type of a load, we want to make sure we address it square on, not from the side, not at an awkward angle. We want to approach it directly and do as much as we can to keep our spine neutral. When we do that, we keep our spine neutral. That allows our body to distribute the load evenly. When we bend and twist, as I said, we're isolating our spine. We're putting a lot more strain and pressure on one little area, and we can develop a back injury from that. So the first principle we want to keep in mind throughout the day is keeping a neutral spine. The second principle we want to keep in mind is having a wide stance. And that's easily seen when, if I put my feet together, you'll notice as soon as I start to move, my body is off balance and I try and correct for it. My body naturally is going to correct for that. And when I go to a more relaxed or normal stance, you can see my feet naturally went to a shoulder width stance. This is more comfortable for me. My body can actually handle the movements that I'm doing throughout the day more effectively when I have a wide stance. So throughout the day, with any loads that I'm working with, I want to keep a wide stance. The third, the third basic ergonomic principle I want to incorporate is having a comfortable grip. I want to have a comfortable grip because that's going to allow me to do that transfer, move that load, whatever way I'm going to do it, without having to worry about it slipping out of my hands. I'm sure you're familiar with the fact that the time when you don't have a good grip is the time when something happens, something slips, and of course, as you watch me, as soon as something slips out of my hands, I'm immediately going to that bending and twisting position where I'm trying to recover from it. So I want to make sure I have a comfortable grip throughout the day with any load that I'm working with. The fourth principle is keeping that load close to me. Now, as I'm doing this, if I have a load away from me or going away from me, it gets heavy. As I bring a load into me or close to me, it's lighter. So I want to keep that load close to me because that ties in, helps me with my comfortable grip and my neutral spine to manage that load I'm working with throughout the day. And the last one's to have a smooth movement. So rather than jerking that load or grabbing it awkwardly or enforcing it, we want to have a nice smooth easy movement whether we're working with an inanimate or an animate object, whichever one it's going to be, we want to have a nice smooth movement. The easiest way that I can demonstrate these and put these together for you is to give you the example of buying a bag of concrete. If you go to the hardware store and you buy a 100-pound bag of concrete, you don't bend over awkwardly with your feet together and try and pick it up with your arms outstretched and then stand straight up. Rather, what you do is you keep your feet shoulder width apart, you lower yourself down, pick up that load and bring it into you, and then just bring it straight up. And by doing that, I've kept my spine neutral, I've kept the load close to me, I've had a good comfortable grip, you saw I had my stance wide, and as I did it smoothly, I allowed my body to work effectively. Putting all five together is going to allow you to handle any of those loads that you're working with throughout the day. It's going to make it safer for you, more enjoyable for you because you don't have to worry about any kind of back injuries or anything else, and it's going to simplify the process for you throughout the day. Thank you for your time.